I had a chance to review the Lively hearing aids. These are online hearing aids that you can find at a pretty good price. What this video is designed to do is educate you on the pros and cons of the Lively hearing aids and explain how they may help for hearing loss or tinnitus. My name is Dr. Ben Thompson. I'm an audiologist and founder of Treble Health. Before we start today's video, I want you to know that I'm an independent audiologist. I do not work for Lively, I'm making this video with my audiology expertise and my understanding of what exactly their hearing aids at the time of making this video can provide. I hope you can stick around until the end of this video because the Lively hearing aids are not the only options for you. In fact, there's many online hearing aid options that can probably get the job done and allow you to hear conversation, family, telephone, soft voices, much better. All those important things that probably have you here in the first place looking for help. So let's get started with the pros and cons of Lively. Pro number one is the telehealth model. You can order the hearing aids online and they are shipped to your house. That's stay at home friendly and convenient, which is a big plus in my opinion. Pro number two is that the manufacturer of these hearing aids, GN Resound, is known for good sound quality and they are a reputable hearing aid manufacturer. If you did not already know, these lively hearing aids are actually produced by the company Resound. Resound also sells their hearing aids, and this exact model is called the Resound Lynx Quattro. They also sell these hearing aids at audiology clinics. The difference is that the ones online are a lot cheaper than the ones from audiology clinics because you're missing out on some services that are typically provided at an in-person audiology clinic, specifically real ear measures if you're going to a good audiologist. That said, the hardware and the software of these hearing aids is reputable and it is a good quality. Pro number three for this version of the Lively hearing aids is that they are more affordable than getting the same hearing aids at a local clinic. These hearing aids are the Lynx Quattro 5 level, that means the third tier from the premium, and you can find these at a clinic usually for around twice the cost. So you're looking at somewhere around a 40 to 50% savings on getting them online through Lively. Pro number four is that they are rechargeable and Bluetooth hearing aids. The rechargeable aspect is great. You can charge them overnight and they'll last you the whole day. In terms of Bluetooth, they give you all of the Bluetooth options you would want. You can do phone calls or listen to audio like podcasts or music. Just know that with such a small speaker in your ear, you're very unlikely to enjoy the music quality from hearing aids like this. Now the interesting part, let's talk about the cons, the drawbacks of the Lively hearing aids. Con number one is that they are more expensive than other direct-to-consumer online hearing aids. To find out more details about other options, you can look at the other videos I've made on this YouTube channel or head over to our website. But the main takeaway message here is that there are more affordable online hearing aid options that might get you to the same result as lively, so that's something to consider. Con number two, and this applies to all online hearing aids, is that when you're buying hearing aids online, you're missing a verification step in the hearing aid fitting process that does not happen through telehealth. Now, personally, I don't believe this is a problem for most people, but for those who are looking at online hearing aids, I want you to be fully informed about this potential risk, the risk of being underfit, we call it. That means the hearing aid in your ear is not matching the prescription strength that you need of the right volume and the right settings of the hearing aids. Think of it like this. If the hearing aids are set to 80% of what they could be, you're going to notice better hearing, but that 20%, maybe 10%, there's a possibility that an in-person audiologist through the real ear measures verification system could use their equipment and give you an extra bump that you otherwise wouldn't get by just using the telehealth model. We're not quite done yet. I have some important points to make that I need you to know if you're considering lively still, but so far, how was the video? Give me a thumbs up below. That's YouTube's way of letting me know that you enjoyed it. You're essentially saying, Thank you for making this video. Let's go through the patient experience of ordering these hearing aids through Lively. I met with one of their audiologists on video through my phone, and you can see what that looks like on my side, where we had a Zoom call through my phone, and I was able to tell them what I was going through, 
that would be an opportunity for the audiologist to make adjustments to the hearing aid and send those adjustments to your app. I'm very pro telehealth. I'm very pro technology in this regard. So I'm happy that Lively is using this technology to its full benefit. Another important note is that these are not locked hearing aids. That means if you buy them and you're not satisfied with the telehealth service, or you wanted to switch to an in-person audiology clinic, or you were traveling and you just needed someone to help you immediately, you could go into a clinic and they could adjust the software so that they can program the hearing aids after you've gotten them through Lively. The caveat is once you do that, the Lively audiologist will not be able to remote adjust the hearing aids after that fact. So there's some nuances here. I just want you to be aware of that. As I said earlier, I'm an audiologist. That means I have access to this real ear measure system. And with the hearing test that I provided to Lively, we ran the output or the real ear measures to see if the settings that they programmed and sent to me were appropriate with the prescription level that I needed. I'll put this image on the screen now. You can see that there's the blue line at the bottom. That's signifying the thresholds of hearing for the hearing test that I submitted. There's the green line going through those green check marks, and that's the prescription level for average speech, making sure that I'm getting enough volume at the different speech frequencies. You can see here that the green line is crossing through the green arrows quite well. And that means that these hearing aids on first fit from when they sent them to me are actually appropriate. This objective test shows me that the hearing aids sent to me were matching the hearing test that I submitted. From this test, Lively did a good job. If that same test result came from a premium set of hearing aids that cost $6,000, then I wouldn't be surprised. Now, there are some technical arguments of what about sound quality of premium hearing aids versus more entry-level hearing aids like Lively. It is possible that premium hearing aids have better noise reduction qualities, and anecdotally through patients, they do explain that. We'll save some more of those details for another video. So are you a good fit for these hearing aids? Well, I would like to have an online hearing test or an in-person hearing test sent to me and my team so that we can review your hearing. I would also like to have a conversation with you so that we can know what are the situations you need the most help in. This is where an audiologist shines, and I'm such a huge fan that our profession, doctors of audiology, are going to help you hear better. And especially if you're considering online hearing aids, I don't recommend doing it on your own. Of course, I'm biased because I created a company that focuses specifically on this. It's called treblehealth.com. It's designed to give consultations and make this process easier for you. You can find us if you're interested, but otherwise, I just want you to know that there is value of talking to a professional who understands the whole market, not just one type of hearing aids. If there's another drawback that I have, another downside of the Lively hearing aid model, is that they only sell one type of hearing aid. They only sell this Resound rebranded hearing aid, and every so often they upgrade to the next level. Well, currently there is a newer premium version of Resound that's available around clinics. So the Lively model is about one generation older. One thing I don't like about that is when you come to me and I have 10 different options of hearing aids to recommend, then based on your needs, based on what you're looking for and how the market's changing so quickly, I can directly, specifically uh, discuss a product. That's different from me describing how hearing aids help you and then giving you the only hearing aid that the company sells. So something to consider. Overall, I think Lively does have a good hearing aid product at the time of making this video. Now I wanna finish this video by talking about a subject I'm very passionate about. And if you follow me on YouTube, you know that I make a lot of videos about this. That's tinnitus management. So what kind of hearing aids can help with tinnitus? Well, wearing hearing aids in general helps with tinnitus, but if you can have a sound therapy feature on top of that, that does not rely on Bluetooth, then that gives two thumbs up. From my experiences so far with patients who have considered or tried lively, there's somewhat of a mixed response of how much customization they can add to the hearing aids for tinnitus. But I do know that the technology is there so that you could have tinnitus sound therapy through these hearing aids that does not rely on Bluetooth and that has pros and benefits for managing tinnitus. Again, my name is Dr. Ben Thompson. I want to say thank you for being here and welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, please find the red subscribe button, subscribe. And if 
you are looking for more video content, I'm going to put one on my side. This next video will explain some of the top hearing aids that I want you to consider for this upcoming year. Thank you for being here and I hope you have better hearing soon.